everybody, Steve Britton here. It's uh, fairly late on uh, Monday evening. This is the 30th of April, and uh, well, just a quick uh, heads up. May Day, May Day, it's uh, May Day tomorrow. All the commies and antifas and all them will be out waving their banners and signs around, so, so be ready for that. God help us, the communists are coming. The, red men, the Reds are coming, there you go. The Ruskies, the Russians are coming. No, actually, the Russians aren't, aren't nearly as bad as we used to think they are. That just dates me a little bit. Yes, I am a child of the Cold War. The reason I'm making this video today is because, uh, oh my God, I've been blackmailed. Last Friday, actually, I have been, I have been, I'm being blackmailed. And I want to draw everyone's attention to this, lest you fall for the same trap that's landed me in the blackmail hot water. I'm going to be reading the email, but I'm going to put it up on the screen as well. And, uh, and man, this is, uh, this is really scary stuff. And you want to make sure that you don't get caught um, in the same, in, in similar circumstances. All right, so let's, let's see what this email. Now, I haven't got the subject line uh, visible to you, but the subject line is be cautious and then it's got an ID. And um, there's also a Bitcoin wallet uh, number in here, but um, I'm not gonna worry too much about that because, well, this guy's blackmailing me. If you wanna send him money, feel free, but I'm, uh, well, we'll see. So here's the email, I'll read it as well. Good morning, this person writes. Nice, nice way of starting, I thought. Um, Your computing device was attacked by the corrupting application. What's up? I set the malware on a pornography site. You pushed this file and urgently installed the hostile program to your gadget. That firm, that badware rather, made your front camera filming, so I enjoy a clip with you buff the muffin. What am I, a trans now? Am I a, a transsexual or a transgender, whatever it is? Buff the muffin is a female term. And uh, I don't recall going through any gender reassignment surgery anytime recently. In next four hours, this badware captured all the contact numbers numbers. Right now, I have all your contacts and record with you masturbating. And in a case, if you want me to close down all the contact information, affect payment 408 CAD in BTC digital money. See, I told you, blackmail. Otherwise, I would send that this video record to all your contacts. I provide you mine Bitcoin code. Then he gives the Bitcoin code there. You possess 24 hours after reading. If I possess this sum of money, I promise crush that this video record evermore. I beg pardon for many grammar. I'm Chinese spelled C-H-I-N-E-E-Z-E. -E. P.S. This mail address, I have thieved it. Alrighty then. Well, I guess he's told me, hasn't he? No, I will not be paying this man or this this Chinese C H I N E E Z E person any money. Because, first of all, I know for a fact that he does not possess. I go, I'm calling it a him. I don't know why I'm saying he, but I know for a fact that they possess no recording. There is no attachment sent with any proof, of course, because there is no proof to send. Because I don't do that kind of thing. And even if I did, which I don't, do you really think that I would pay somebody 408 Canadian dollars to avoid embarrassment? Quite frankly, if anyone wants to watch me buff the muffin, they're welcome to it. Assuming such a recording exists, which I know it doesn't. I expect it would be A, very frightening, and B, very boring. Now, obviously, I'm sharing this with you um, because, well, I found the whole email quite amusing, to be frank with you, because the grammar, I, I, I've never seen an email with such terrible grammar before. 
Um, I don't know what a Chinese C-H-I-N-E-E-Z-E -E person is. I don't know where this Chinese country is, nor do I really for one minute think that this is anything other than a scam. And it is quite obviously a scam. As I mentioned already, if it wasn't a scam, they would have provided some proof because sending proof doesn't delete the original file. So they can send proof and I can do whatever I want with the proof. They still have the original file. And second of all, I know full well what not to do if I want to make absolutely sure something doesn't become available like Mike Pence does. If he doesn't want anyone to have any chance of ever accusing him of uh, marital wrongdoing, he makes damn sure that he never has a meal alone with another woman besides his wife. If you want to make damn sure that nude photographs of you never get out on the internet, never take nude photos of yourself in the first place. If they don't exist, they can't get shared. This is just plain common sense, my friends. But the main thing is, consider this a public service announcement. There is this scam circulating, and what it plays on is the nagging fear in the back of somebody's head that they may have been caught, quote unquote, with their pants down. And I want you to understand that while this is actually, I'm finding this quite humorous, obviously, but understand that this is out there, understand that it is a scam, and understand that you have nothing to worry about. Unless, of course, you do.